Hi Muglets. So for the past couple weeks, I've been fully focused on Wanderer. And when it comes to the new artifact sets, we've only really been caring about Desert Pavilion because this is Wanderer's set. However, there is this other set, Flower of Paradise Lost, which does sound pretty insane as well. I think my Nilu Bloom team is probably my overall strongest team at the moment. They just obliterate everything so fast, and this would definitely be a set that goes on one of those units. I guess we should also go over what the set does exactly. The two pieces, Elements Mastery, which makes sense, because the four piece basically boosts Blooms, Hyper Blooms, and Bergen. The reaction damage of those are increased by 40%, and after triggering one of those reactions, they will gain a 25% bonus to the effect mentioned prior, which is this 40%. I was actually thinking this set could possibly be better on an element mastery Kokomi. Nahida, of course, would be another contender, but I really want to keep her in Deepwood Memories because the Dendro res gets decreased and what are we doing with Blooms? Dendro damage. I guess if you were to do the E basic basic combination of her elemental skill and doing these water blades, that might be another story. So if she was your main attacker or possibly even if you brought Candace to infuse, Nilu's blades with Hydra, that would also work. But just to keep it simple, and since I've already kind of tried Elemental Mastery Kokomi before, just not in, you know, a set, I just gave her as much Elemental Mastery as possible, we're going to try that with Kokomi. First, of course, we are going to farm a little bit, see if we get anything good. We mainly need Elemental Mastery. That's the most important thing. Bones will be joining us for this farming session. She also wants more artifacts, even though I think she has a pretty good build on her Wanderer already, but can always be better, of course. What is our first drop here? Two of the, <laughs> I mean, okay, I do need a better set for my wonder also, so I can't really complain. Kind of cool when we're going for both artifacts, doesn't matter which ones we drop, but these are both trash, so let's move on. Here we did get one, four substats, does have elemental mastery, so that's definitely a contender, and HP goblet. We got a geo goblet, which is trash, and an electro goblet, which is also trash. They are all bad. Final condensed of this run, and two more of the set we're not really going for right now. And they're both, again, very bad. All right, here we go. We got a HP Goblet with Elements Mastery. So, I mean, might not be bad for Nilu. And a Def Goblet here. Two more of the pieces we're not really going for. And they're both not great. So, whatever. What's this? HP Goblet. Def Sands and... Ooh, Crit Damage Circlet with Crit Rate. Hey, dang, that could actually be decent. Sands, Def Sands. And this Plume. <laughs> Come on, Plume. Something good. <laughs> and healing bonus circlet. All right, well, that was tin condensed. I don't think we got anything really good. I think maybe one plume or something had element of mastery and four subs, so possibly. Well, let's take a look at what we have gotten and see if we can make a set. First things first, we need at least one with a main stat with element of mastery. One of our sands, maybe? With el oh yeah, we do have one. <laughs> with the triple flat. I would prefer something not triple flat. <laughs> Literally the only one we have is the triple flat. Uh, let's, I mean, it would technically work. We just really want as much Elemental Mastery as possible, so whatever, but let's see about Goblet. Out of all these, not one Elemental Mastery. What about Circlet? We need at least two, so then we can maybe go off-piece Goblet for Elemental Mastery, which we don't, we can't make a set. So, which means we need to keep farming regardless until we at least get a Circlet or a Goblet with Elemental Mastery. That's, that's what we're looking for now. Well, Bones is done with Artifact Farming, we are not. We are chomping through our fragile resins like crazy. I don't know how many thousands of resin I've already spent in this domain. We have 200 of the new artifacts. Granted, a few of them are still purples because I haven't been feeding them in yet, but I have also fought a lot of the five stars. But yeah, you get about one five star per 20 resin. So 200 five stars is like 4,000 resin, probably a little less, but still around that ballpark. And if you saw the set, we were ultimately able to create for our wonder. Yeah, dude. If you don't have good luck in artifact farming, you're screwed. All right. Is this an element of mastery? It is. Wow. That was easy. <laughs> I'm going to go and use these other four condensed because the only other element of mastery piece we have as main stat is that triple flat sand. So goblet element of mastery, physical damage, but double crit line physical damage. So I'm going to keep it. And this flower with uh, energy recharge, element of mastery, HP, maybe for Nilu, actually, if we do decide to give her this set instead, another goblet, another element to mastery chance it is attack don't care about this stuff but i'll check it anyway yeah neither of them are of note last run here before we build basically the uh, worst artifact set known to man come on a gobbledora sands gobbledora sands element mastery goblet that's decent 
HP. All right, let's get to it, I guess. The good thing is we don't have much of a choice for at least half of these artifacts, so it doesn't really matter how it rolls, because, you know, we can't do anything else anyway. <laughs> but yes, this is our one Elements Mastery circlet. Let's raise it, because we don't have a choice. We have to go off-piece goblet. Go into all def. It doesn't really matter at this point. Nice, let's go. But def percent is still typically better than flat def, so I don't understand what you're doing there. Just go flat def. HP, that's like probably one of the best stats for Kokomi. Why are you doing that? More HP? Yeah, whatever. It, like I said, it really doesn't matter. Energy recharge would have been all right too, I guess. And then we do get an energy recharge. Well, I guess it could have gone worse, but I mean, honestly for Kokomi, she doesn't need crit stats, so... Honestly, I don't know what else I could have wanted really there. There you go. Enjoy. On Kokomi, these flat stats are literally more useful than crit stats. Is that copium? I mean, kind of. I might use this set on someone else eventually, so yeah. And there you have it. This one starts with 23 and four subs, so it's definitely the highest potential here. We got a def roll and a crit rate roll. And we did get an element mastery bump, so I would have given up by 12 if we hadn't, but we're gonna keep going. And another crit rate roll. Yeah, maybe we will give up. This one doesn't seem too bad either. Let's see what fourth sub is. Flat HP. Element of Mastery, all right, we got that at plus eight this time. Slightly better. Ooh, another Element of Mastery roll, all right. This one has more than the other one. Flat HP again, come on. Last one for Element of Mastery, please. It was HP percent. Well, we're gonna move on for now because I don't imagine we can get that much better. Two rolls into Element of Mastery, 58, it's whatever. Obviously gonna start with the ones that have four subs. Crit rate, maybe we'll just move on to the next one already. <laughs> that was my only four subs, so let's get it to eight at least. And attack. Yeah, let's move on. Four subs, flat attack, not like it really matters. And it rolled into flat def. Okay, let's move on from this one. All right, here we go. We got it to plus eight. We got an element mastery roll at plus eight. So this one has the most potential so far. HP percent, again, Kokomi, I guess it'd be okay, but just realize we're running very low on Mora again, please. Yes, yes, okay. We're keeping this one, 63. And here we go. All right, whatever, it's fine. Since we're so low on Mora now, I think what we're just gonna do is steal Kazuha's Element of Mastery goblet for now. It doesn't really matter. We're also gonna give her Nahida's A Thousand Floating Dreams, actually, for more Element of Mastery. And then we're gonna give Nahida something else to boost her damage, I guess. Kagura probably wouldn't, wouldn't be bad. She has a very short cooldown on her uh, skill. Team-wise, it'll be more or less the same as my typical Bloom team, starting with Nilu. I'm not sure if Nahida's E thing will be able to keep up, but we're gonna have to give that a look. I was gonna have another another off-field Hydro, but I feel like probably another Dendro would be better. For now, let's just go with a typical team. Though usually, yeah, what I'm usually doing is having the Hita basic attack after all these guys. So we have 1,089 Elements Mastery with our Kokomi here. Kind of figured she would have a little bit more, honestly, but hopefully it's enough. I feel like maybe Yolanda is going to be the one doing the most, though. She has more, more Hydro than Kokomi, probably, but let's just uh, see what we can do here, I guess, to start. So um, maybe I just won't even do Yolanda's burst for now. So we are getting some blooms in there. A 79k bloom. Okay, hold on. Nahida's... Yeah, there's a certain point where Nahida's try karma thing doesn't do anything anymore i'm not sure why that is exactly but um we are getting a decent amount of blooms popping off there i honestly kind of forgot what we were getting before i think it was around 60k or so so that is a massive uh boost already i was kind of hoping to see a 100k bloom okay yeah we're not getting any blooms now i guess i'm not sure exactly how nahida's e works 75k there i think maybe someone else could use deep wood and N nahida triggers it perhaps but that would mean nikita needs the new set and i don't think we would need to change too much like obviously if we're only going for bloom damage she would just rock a bunch of elements mastery also and not the current crit rate dendro she has now that might be more consistent let's just try it i guess so yeah since we only have one of this set built anyway we can just swap directly over from kokomi kokomi might be the only real contender for it i mean i guess we would already have it we could at least swap this out for an hp or whatever it's basically just for the dendro res decrease obviously if i were to make this like a real main team i would you know not have her in the dendro goblet uh, kokomi because it's kind of pointless but let's just see how this goes first of all it is also raining now which uh, I don't know how much elements mastery the clouds have, but that could be an issue. So now it's going to be more typical of what I usually do. Neil, Yolan, Kokomi, uh, and then Kokomi will trigger the Deepwood memories also, and then Nahida doing all of her stuff. Uh, gonna throw Kokomi's E there, and then do Nahida burst, and Nahida E, and then just start spamming. Uh, let's see what we get. 
Wow, much less than before, actually, when we when we had it in Kokomi. But we have 1,633 elements of mastery with, with Nikita, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure. There were some bloom crits in there from her C2, but yeah, we just straight up got way more with Kokomi. Possibly something got messed up, but I'm gonna try a couple more times. Oh, there we go, there was a 79. Okay, so maybe... Maybe something was just wrong on that first run. I'm not sure how we could further boost it though. Bloom's only really increased with damage with Elements of Mastery in certain sets, and I think we have all that stuff already. The Dindra Res Decrease coming from Kokomi, Yolan providing an overall damage boost with her burst, the Bountiful Cores. What else could we do really besides maybe increasing our Dindra damage bonus with a potion? Although I'm not sure if that even matters for Blooms. Like they do Dindra, but they're like kind of a separate thing. It's so confusing. I'm gonna make a couple and try it out, because yeah, that's what I do it would obviously increase like Nahida's tri karma damage but blooms i'm 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 i think maybe not well we ate one let's see how it goes we don't have Nahida's burst but we still got a 76k there i think that was a bloom tim said they like to try things on the perpetual mechanical array so we'll give that a whirl hello perpetual mechanical array how's it going ow and one of those 77 there we go there we go Ow, ow, please stop though, please stop. Yeah, that was the highest I could see. I just want an 80K, there was a 78. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the potion isn't actually doing anything. But yeah, I'm not seeing much higher damage whether we have Kokomi or Nahida in this set. So it's pretty interesting. When I do Nahida's E and just use Kokomi basics, for example, Masanori retains Zindra pretty much the entire duration. Tri-Karma does proc every now and then, giving him more bloom. But it seems like when you have too much off-field uh, Hydro, like if we were to use Yolan or something, it kind of overwhelms that. I don't know about the technical terms, but I think that was my issue. Yeah, this is the issue. When he actually has Hydro applied to him, you can't do anything then because there, there are actually no reactions happening. Does that mean as long as you use Nahida first, everything would be all right? Let me just try using Nahida first, actually. I'm really just trying to understand how all this crap works. I mean, I've been playing this game so long and, and, and it's still so confusing sometimes. So we have uh, Dindro just permanently on him now, and we are and we are able to do tons of blooms. Oh, but now he has Hydro. So I guess basically what I'm trying to say is Nihita could be enough alone if you do things in a certain way, I guess. And by that, I mean good enough alone as an off field, not as the one basic attacking like I'm doing here. Currently, she's in the set, so we, we, we are doing that. Bro, this game makes me feel so stupid sometimes. Um, I realized that Bloom feels stronger because obviously when the Blooms explode, that also applies Dendro to the opponent. But anyway, what I want to see now is, um, how much damage we are approximately still doing without the, uh, thing now. 76. Yeah, I think that potion wasn't really doing anything because it's gone by now. So I'm going to switch back. I guess I could give Yolan Elegy for more Elements of Mastery. Yeah, I think the issue is with Yolan, there's just too much Hydro. Kokomi. Go. Do stuff. Let's get a bloom in there. Yeah, that just isn't working as well. It's just so much more consistent when you're basking with, with Nikita. I mean, it works, I guess, but... I'll try it once more on the uh, Primo Geo Vishap here. We're gonna start with Nikita's burst. Go get that applied to her. Do some of this. Okay, we should have the three stacks. Try and get Yolan burst. And then here we go. Do some of this, do some of that. Can we get a crit? A bloom crit? Yeah, there was like some 50k bloom crits. And now the thing is gone and we gotta get get it back again. 77. Okay, that's still like the highest I've seen. 77, 79, I can't break the 80k mark. But there are too many times where Hydra takes over and I have to go back to Nahida to reapply. And that just is uncomfortable, you know? Having Kokomi as an actual healer wouldn't be bad anyway. Obviously, just for the sake of trying to get massive blooms, we are still going to build Kokomi like this. Starting to wonder if Yolan might be the issue, actually. She could possibly be the one triggering a lot of the blooms. I'm just not sure who else I could use, really, other than another Dendro. Mona. Mona might be the key. She has the omen stuff. I totally forgot about that. I haven't used Mona in a long time. Mona now in Deepwood Memories and Nahida in the in the Flower of Paradise Lost set. Drake time. Let's see how this goes, I guess. Uh, we're just going to do her burst, I suppose. I don't know if that's going to last long enough, actually. Um, come on. Give me something. I guess it broke already. The thing. Okay. Now we have the opposite issue, not enough Hydro. How weird. 
I mean, I assume the 50% damage increase would apply to Blooms, right? That would make sense. Maybe not Dendro damage bonus, but just straight up damage increase, you'd think? We might be able to break 80k then. 80! There! Finally! <laughs> um, seems like a pretty small win considering we started off at like 77 or whatever, or maybe it was even 79. I don't think Mona's actually doing anything. Maybe just things worked out slightly better this time and we got an, finally got an 80. I know there is something weird with Mona's burst and some kind of poise hidden stamina bar. I'm there, there are too many mechanics, dude. I don't know if we just couldn't ever get the timing down or if she really wasn't doing much, if anything, for the blooms. But we got an 80k, so that's cool, I guess. But yeah, I guess that'll do it. I was considering going in there and fighting Shogun and, you know, because she has that 50% minus res, but like, what's the point? Definitely feels more like a fake number than anything else. You know, food buffs or those potions or whatever else, because it's like just that one boss. <laughs> I think 80k for one bloom is pretty good. I'm not sure how long it would take me to get a decent set for Nilu. It would obviously be different because she just needs a bunch of HP instead of elements of mastery. I guess I still need to work out the ratio from Dendro and Hydro. My like OG team with Yolan and Nahida as the bloom trigger, the one doing the basic attacks at the end, that was always perfect. You know, blooms are always abundant and consistent and good, uh, but trying to use anyone else besides Nahida, it becomes kind of a science. There is more possible, of course, but you're really getting into like the nitty gritty territory at that point. So I'm satisfied with that. But yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.